What's up guys, Frankie Type R here from Statement in the Cherry Hill Mall. Today we're bringing you a pretty cool review. Uh, this is the Jordan Fragment 3 collab. Personally, I love this shoe, I really do. Uh, it didn't get as much like height that it should have, but let's just get into opening this box and get into the sneaker. So to start, the box is pretty cool. I mean, it's a, it's simple in my opinion. It's just, a, you know, got some navy blue and like a little bit of a lighter blue uh, going in. Not a regular Jordan 3 box in my opinion. Uh, we got some branding on the, on the tissue paper here, some Jordan and some fragment branding, pretty cool. I feel like they could have did a lot more, uh, especially being the shoe that it is and the, I guess, you know, the, the name behind Fragment is, has gotten pretty big. So uh, if you guys don't know, Fragment uh, does a ton of collabs. And I feel like, in my opinion, I might be wrong about this, but that's what they're known for. I mean, I haven't, I didn't know about Fragment until I seen it collab with other companies. Uh, I know it's a Japanese company. And I know it has this really awesome little Thunder logo. So um, yeah, that's basically as much as I know about Fragment, but let's get into the shoe because that's what this review is about. So to start, we have, uh, I mean, it's pretty simple. It's a white and black colorway Jordan 3. Um, that's what most people didn't like about it is it's simple. But to me, I thought it was very well executed. Uh, it is super simple, but it has so many little minor details that I feel like take it over the top. And I think in the long run, a lot of people are really gonna enjoy this sneaker uh, after seeing it more often. So to start, I mean, it has a really nice tumbled leather and it is the quality of the leather is just, it's up to par with like, I mean, I wouldn't say shattered backboard quality, but like it, it's pretty close. Um, then going into um, the rest of the shoe, it's got some, uh, we got some perforated leather accents here and on, on the top here. Um, we got a nice black leather, which is a lot smoother uh, going around the whole thing. We have some uh, fragment branding on the back as well as some Jordan branding, which I'll talk more into that in a second. And then some little fragment, uh, like I guess some, not embossed, but like, yeah, I guess embossed uh, fragment logo here on the heel as well as some uh, random fragment name and numbers that I don't know what they mean, but it does say fragment design. And I tried to look up what it means and I cannot find out for life of me what these little letters mean down here. Um, if you do know, comment below. So further talking into the shoe, um, on the back, which is everyone's favorite, my personal favorite as well, um, is this, uh, it has the, we have the fragment symbol here and then it's got this like, uh, these back heel and it has the, the Jordan logo. It's, it's a clear see-through and it's raised. So we'll zoom into that so you guys could see and then it says air under it. But like normally when I first seen the pictures of it, I could not tell what that was. I just seen the fragment logo, but it's crazy how they did it. It's just so subtle and, and so well done. Um, going into some other like simple well done features on the shoe that I, I like um, is there's like this kind of like stitching that goes from the top of the shoe where the laces would like end down to like the black on the on the bottom of the shoe on the midsole and then it goes it goes down to the midsole i'm sorry um and just that white i don't know why when it breaks up through the black i feel like that looks so good it's just so well done and then as far as uh branding goes we have some on the insole i'm gonna get the insole out for you guys this is a this is a personal pair so one of these on sneakers um so on the insole we have a ton of branding i haven't even put these on yet but we have a ton of branding with jordan and fragment going down the entire insole and then as well as the Jordan the on the other side of the Jordan logo on the front on the tongue when you break it down and you fold it over it says fragment there on the tongue pretty cool little feature nice branding like I said this shoe was so well uh, so done it was subtle everything was subtle about it it almost feels like designer in a way like it's it doesn't need to be pushed in your face it doesn't need to be pow right there for you but it's just subtle and those subtle little hints is like is what does it for me. I personally like the subtleness. Some people, when they spend a lot of money, they want to, um, they want it to be loud. They want it to be obnoxious. I understand that as well. But, uh, for me on a shoe, that's, I think this is pretty cool. What fragment did with this shoe. Now going into values on the shoe, uh, as you guys know, these things like tanked a lot, uh, originally being around 1200 and then post release jump dropping down to like five, six, all the way up to 700. Um, personally, like I said, in the beginning, good shoe i think in time after people see the details the quality and stuff like that i think this shoe is going to shoot up do i think it's going to touch the the jordan one numbers no shot but it i mean it's i think it should be around a thousand dollar shoe all day long um and it's also white so i feel like the more that people wear them the people are going to like them like me myself i'm going to wear these i'm going to beat them up and then i'm going to have to buy another pair so just like that the numbers are going to be rising because of those reasons um 
I do think it's a hold though. It's definitely a, a hold shoe for me. What I do think is gonna dictate uh, the price of this shoe as well is supposedly, supposedly, they are uh, gonna be doing another colorway of this exact shoe. Um, how true that is, I don't know, but it's, it's rumored it might happen. If it does happen, I mean, you guys know what time it is if you're in the sneaker game. It makes this, the original one jump up some more. Uh, anytime there's a second colorway of an initial sneaker, it kind of brings more attention to the first sneaker, and it's like, oh, those are the new ones, you got those, but I got the OGs. It, may, it gives it more, uh, more history to it, you know? So that would make it jump up as well uh, if they do truly do come out with another colorway of this shoe. It might be the Jordan 1. It might be the Jordan 1 colorway. It might be a blue on the bottom, which would be cool. I wouldn't be mad about that, but I still really like this colorway. I don't know, it's so simple, but I think it's done right. So if you're not convinced by the way it looks in my hand, let's get walking in these things. And that's a wrap guys. So thank you for watching our review and some on foots of the Air Jordan 3 Fragment Collab. If you guys like this video, drop a comment, hit that like button. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.